Hello, my love. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope that this finds you rested. I hope that you have had some liquid today, perhaps. I hope that you are feeling calm. I hope you're feeling at peace. I hope you are not rushed at the moment. But if you are, that is okay. I hope that you find room today to forgive someone else for something. May it be a large transgression or may it be a small one. May it be real or only perceived. I hope that you find room today for forgiveness. I was thinking about playing the long game. And this is something you know I've talked about a lot. And the idea people wanted, I found in my life, and I wanted myself, things to happen quickly. I wanted things and I wanted them now. Or then, I should say. I did not want to wait. And if you take that perception, if you feel that you must get things right away, and there are things that you cannot get right away, hence you will not pursue them, you will miss out on so many things. Simply because something will take a long time does not mean it is not worth pursuing. Quite to the contrary, I would argue that things that take the longest amount of time are the things that are most worth pursuing. And this in my life I found with my writing. If I had not pursued my writing, which is <laughs> undoubtedly a long game, it took me years at a time to write the novels that I wrote. And then it took even longer to actually get them out into the world. And if I decided not to pursue that simply because it would take long, I would not have achieved what I achieved. On a more mundane level, as I've talked about arguably ad nauseum, my stretching and touching my toes, it took me three years to be able to touch my toes. It was a goal for year after year, for three years in a row. And obviously I could have rushed that and done it more quickly, but I did not have the time or focus to do it, but I did not let go of it. I did not say, if I don't have the time to do this all now, if I don't have a month to force myself to strenuously strain and stretch, to be able to touch my toes, I am not going to do it. I would not have gotten where I was, which was the ability to touch my toes, because I took the long view, which was, I will touch my toes each time I get myself a cup of tea. And because of the amount of tea that I drank, slowly over time, I would get closer and closer and closer. And it was an incremental approach. And it took a long time. But if I had not done it, it would not have happened at all because I did not have the ability to, or the focus at the time, I should say, and desire, quite frankly, um, to get it done in one month. So, do not be afraid of the long game. As a matter of fact, I would say embrace it. It is the way to get the things that I think are of the most value, or, well, that's, that's arguable. None of these things really value like beauty is in the eye of the beholder and and it depends on the paradigm again that that's a whole nother rabbit hole but i found that it was important to have patience to take a long view of things and to not be afraid of things that will take a long time and to actually pursue them instead of shy away from them so i will leave it at that and recommend yet again Goldman. And I will bid you adieu. I love you.